Hello! Today we are going to review the natural processes that shape Earth's surface. Remember, there are three natural processes that shape the Earth's surface. Weathering, erosion, and deposition. Let's take a look. Weathering. When weathering is occurring, Earth's materials like rocks are being broken apart. Little or big cracks in the rock are evident that weathering is taking place. Rocks and landforms that have been worn smooth are also evidence that weathering has taken place. Weathering can change the shape of the Earth's surface by breaking down the rocks and soils that make up landform. Moving water can cause weathering. As water flows over the surface of the Earth from rivers, streams, waves, runoff, etc., the force of the water and the sediments it is carrying can break down the rocks and soils it flows over and change the shape of the Earth's surface. Wind can cause weathering. As wind blows, the force of the sediments it carries can break down rocks and soils, changing the shape of the Earth's surface. Glaciers can cause weathering as the slow moving ice travels across the Earth's surface. It crushes any rocks in its path breaking them into smaller pieces and grinding them into fine powder we know as silt. Erosion. When erosion is occurring, Earth's materials like rock, sand, and soil are being carried away from their original location. Water and wind are often the causes for erosion. Moving water, such as rivers, streams, runoff, waves, etc., can cause erosion as the pieces of rock and soil, broken down by weathering, are carried away by the moving water. Wind can cause erosion as moving air carries away the weathered pieces of rock and soil. Glaciers can cause erosion as the moving ice pushes rocks that have been crushed by the ice to the side or out ahead of the front of the glacier. Gravity can cause erosion through the process of mass movement. Mass movement is when rocks and soils on a slope are no longer able to stay in place and begin to move down the hill or mountainside as a result of gravity. Sometimes this happens slowly and sometimes it can happen very fast, such as with landslides or mudslides. Deposition. When deposition is occurring, Earth's materials that have been eroded are put in a new location. When the wind stops blowing, sand and soil may be put down in piles as large as doom. Water may deposit its material at the end of a river and form a delta. Glaciers deposit their eroded materials either along the sides or at the very front once they begin retreating or melting. Gravity deposits material when the eroded debris reaches the bottom of the slope. Now. Let's review. Weathering is the breaking down of rock. Weathering agents include water, wind, ice, animal, and growing plants. Erosion is the movement of sediment from broken rock. Erosion agents include water, wind, ice, and gravity. Deposition is the dropping of sediment in a new place. Examples of deposition are formation of an island, and sand dune. Hmm, now, your teacher will give you a Microsoft Forms quiz on weathering, erosion, and deposition. Feel free to refer back to the text in this presentation or your previous lesson to help you answer the question. And remember, always do your best.